Before the Mueller report dominated the headlines, President Trump's plan to solve the overflow of immigrants caused a big stir. He wants to place them in so-called sanctuary cities like San Francisco. Governor Gavin Newsom and other state leaders are outraged by it. They say the president is using the immigrants as political pawns. A Valley immigration lawyer in Fresno says it may not be illegal, but it could be considered retaliation. Or based on that they're treating different people from different countries differently, then that will probably lead to some kind of case being filed by the ACLU. That brings us to our exclusive conversation with Fresno County Sheriff Margaret Mims, who just met with President Trump just not too long ago near the border. Welcome. Happy Easter to you. Thank you. Happy Easter to you. So during your visit with the president back then near the border, was this plan about sanctuary cities and placing immigrants there, was this talked about? That was not discussed during our roundtable or at any time during the, the border press conference. Uh, what was discussed is the importance of the border wall or fence that's mm -hmm. going up now, the portion that has been completed, as well as I had the opportunity to have conversations with Border Patrol personnel as well as the Chief of Police of Calexico, who really brought home the importance of border security and what it means to them. As you hear this new plan by the President, who's pushing it, um, some say it's, he's politicizing it a lot. For law enforcement, though, as you look at it, does it make sense? Well, if people have to come into our country anyway by law, um, if they're seeking asylum, the conundrum is, so where do we put them? Mm -hmm. And I think this is an opportunity for people who have declared sanctuary city status, I call it to put up or shut up, to, mm -hmm. to say if, if they have to go somewhere and we're a sanctuary, we'll take care of them, bring them on in. I don't know legally if it's possible. However, I just think it's a, a plan about where do we put people. Governor Newsom, other state leaders say the president is using the immigrants as political pawns. Do you disagree with that notion? I disagree with it. Mm -hmm. I, I think the president, I mean, he's the master of the deal, right? right? I think he might use statements like that to move people, to, to move the issue into a place that solves problems. And that's what we need to do. We need to be problem solvers. It's so politicized right now from really the extremes on both sides that forward progress seems to just be stalled right now. You know, I think that a lot of people who are thinking about this will say, hmm, if you put immigrants in sanctuary cities, okay, they're there. Then what do you do with them? Are you going to have people watching over them? Are they going to be supervised by border agents? Uh, or, or then are they going to just be free to go wherever and then they leave the sanctuary city? I, how do you police this? Well, that's the whole issue with immigration and when laws are made, somebody has to enforce those laws. Right now, in, for instance, in my discussion with Border Patrol, there's not enough of them. Mm -hmm. um, also, while I was down in Calexico, I, I believe the president started off real well by saying our system is full. And most people get that. You can only process, you can only move so many people forward. And we have these surges. I, he deviated from his talking points, though, when he said our country is full. And that just opened up an area for people to attack what he said. And that's one thing I wish he had kind of left out of, of his comments. If he had stuck with our system is full, we can't handle and process as many as we've got right now. It, it was a much better solid position to take. Finally, on this particular issue, um, I, I know that it, it, we even heard from an immigration lawyer there. Um, it, it's not maybe illegal because we still don't know if it is or isn't. Homeland Security is not really commenting on it. Uh, but is it retaliation though? Is it a, a, a retaliatory, um, uh, I, I guess, a version of starting an immigration reform bill? I don't know that it's legally retaliation. I think he's calling their bluff. Um, and what I see that might happen next, they might call his bluff and say, okay, we'll take them. Then what? Uh, mm -hmm. because it is a federal responsibility to enforce uh, as well as open up courts. You know, how, how many people are, is, are the courts going to be able to handle when people that are seeking asylum or temporary residency, they're going to have to go through some kind of immigration court proceeding, and there aren't enough immigration court judges, for instance. So they may call the president's bluff in turn. Hmm. 
sounds like a mess. It's a mess. Yeah. I want to touch on another hot button issue here in the Valley and across the state, and it's called Social Security Letters Targeting Undocumented Workers. President Trump reinstated this practice that President Obama eliminated. The typical letter informs an employer of how many of its workers provided Social Security numbers in their tax forms that do not match the administration's records. There was a big rally this week opposing the letters. Congressman Jim Costa leading the charge. We place employers in a difficult uh, and unrealistic position that ultimately could be costly. And Sheriff, these letters have already gone out, thousands of them in California. Do you back the president's decision to reinstate this? Well, I, I'm, I really am ambivalent about this particular issue mm. because it seems as if if we do that without immigration reform, it unfairly hurts both people that are working hard here not committing any crimes as well as our ag industry so I, I have a, a mixed feelings about this yeah. I think the immigration reform has to come first so that we can have a legal workforce that we see so sorely need before those kinds of enforcement actions uh, take place because the argument really is that the undocumented workers have paid 12 billion into Social Security and they're not able to collect these benefits, so what's the harm? Well, my feeling is that if we have immigration reform, some kind of restitution based legality. For instance, mm. if you've been here working hard and, and my wheelhouse is, of course, you don't commit crimes, you should be able to pay a fine, prove you've paid your taxes, uh, prove that you've been here working hard, and get some kind of legal status so that we can have the workforce th that we need and we have the legality issue. Now, when it comes to public safety, this is important to me mm -hmm. because many times right now, people that are here illegally are afraid to report when they've been a victim of crime. And that breaks my heart because we don't ask a person's legality when they report being a victim of crime. Right. Well. As you saw at the beginning of the show, there's some light reading we all have to do here. Uh, have you got a chance to peek at it? The Mueller report? N not yet. No. Do you think you will? I don't know that I'll read the whole report or not. It's, yeah. What do you think of it? I, I, I believe that um, it does vindicate the president. Mm -hmm. uh, I, if, for instance, the Democrats decide to attack this and go further with this, it's going to be hurting them. They need to move on. Uh, you have both Mueller and you have Barr now saying, Nothing illegal happened, uh, and we need to move on, really take care of some important business. It's important to the citizens of our country. All right, tell you what, I'll read the first 200, you take the second 200. That's a deal. All right, good stuff. Sheriff, thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate it.